Linebacker Aiden Fisher. We'll start with Mason and go to Matt. Aiden, I guess I'm curious <coughs> about having so many new faces, you as well being one of them that's in kind of a new place now, but also having some familiarity around you with the coaching staff. What's been the process of adjusting from James Madison to Indiana and, and kind of personally, where has where that journey taken? Uh, it's been pretty good so far. Um, a lot of the guys kind of, right now I was asking a lot of questions, um, kind of working out the fine details of kind of everything schematically and then kind of like as a culture standpoint. So uh, it's been a pretty smooth transition so far and I've, I've really enjoyed it so far. Matt and Daniel. Hey, Jamie, everybody talked a lot about the offense and obviously they were, you know, really uh, productive, but the defense, you know, um, was really highly rated too. What is it about Coach Haynes' system and what he does? Sounds like it's kind of exotic, creative. What do you got? What do you like about his linebacker that he allows you guys to do? Uh, so it's a really explosive defense. Um, <clears throat> I think we led the country in TFLs and we also had one of the nation's top uh, sack leaders. So we allow our players to play fast and also to play free. So I think that's what attracts so many players to play in the system and allows us to be so successful because we're, we're able to play fast and kind of play off each other. And I think that's just the biggest thing to it. Daniel and Jack. Yeah, and what kind of sold you on IU this offseason? Uh, so initially entering the portal, um, I kind of kept my options open. Uh, I wasn't sure where I would land. Uh, talked to a couple schools and ultimately came down to here and another school. And the biggest thing for me was just continuing my development with Coach Haynes. Um, him and Coach Nettie and the, the system they put me in and kind of the way I've seen myself grown so far, not only as a player but as a person and a leader. Um, I didn't see a reason to stop that and it's definitely something I want to keep chasing. And then you and Walker kind of, I guess, arrived here together, played obviously the last few years alongside him. What does he bring and what kind of, I guess, how valuable is that to have that in the middle of a unit there? Uh, I, I think it's great. Uh, he's a really explosive and dynamic player. Um, he's great to play alongside. Um, I know we're both really excited to play with everybody in this group that we have. Uh, we're really excited about everybody in that room to kind of be able to play off each other and keep building this chemistry that we've going right now. Jack and Seth. Yeah, I guess what do you see as the biggest challenge going from JMU to now competing against like big time opponents? How, how do you try to you know adjust to that? Uh, it's definitely kind of like a bigger scale. Uh, definitely with the Big Ten compared to other conferences. Um, I look at it more of as a kind of like an opportunity to kind of prove myself and kind of keep on that journey to kind of prove myself and show I belong here. And I think a lot of the guys that transferred in, is, that's why they're here, is we're ready to compete on the biggest stage and we're excited for it. Seth and Mike. Yeah, when you're coming to a new program uh, in the off season, just how do you go about kind of trying to establish yourself among your teammates and trying to build those relationships and start establishing yourself as a leader on the field? Uh, I think the biggest thing for me was just being around the guys as much as I could. Um, obviously workouts, meetings, uh, we have those, but it's kind of like what you do off the field. Uh, so anytime I'm able to, you know, get with the guys, maybe if it's going golfing, going to dinner, uh, just trying to get some, get some continuity within the group already, and then we can build off that and get our chemistry going. Yeah, mostly playing Mike spot, and then who are you been working alongside Walker and any, anybody else, kind of who's practice wise? Uh, we've had a really multiple, uh, multiple players kind of stepping into different roles. Uh, I've been able to play with almost the entire group, uh, and everybody's kind of rotates daily. So every day we come to practice, it kind of just changes each day. Zach B and Joe, you mentioned you you tried to be a leader for this team. Has Coach Signetti and the other members of the coaching staff kind of leaned on you to be a leader so far this offseason? Um, I definitely think I definitely uh, think so. Um, just being a guy that knows the system and being able to come in and kind of share my knowledge and kind of build that within, within the uh, position group as long as the, the defense as a whole. Um, it's been pretty cool to see that everybody kind of like gravitate towards you a little bit and being able to help them out uh, just with everything that is coming over that's new and uh, just helping them embrace it. Joe and Zion, what were some of your personal challenges leaving home in Virginia and now here in Indiana? Uh, it was definitely a challenge. Uh, my family uh, was at every single game that we played this year, so that was the biggest challenge was being able, or knowing that they're not going to be at every game, which uh, my family's done a great job with. They kind of helped me get here. They're, we want you to go. We want you to be on the biggest stage. We want you to kind of show why, why you're supposed to be here. So they really helped me and motivated me to do it. Kind of going back to your role in the defense, how would you describe what your role was last year at JMU, and is it changing at all so far in spring practice? Uh, so it kind of started as a, as a, um, a package guy, uh, and then it kind of evolved into a starter, and it's just been kind of like an upward, um, upward climb from there. Uh, being able to kind of embrace the leadership role and being able to have these guys gravitate towards you. Um, here, I feel like I've, I've kind of done the same thing. 
Um, I'm more of like the energy guy now. I want to be able to bring the energy, lead the guys everywhere we go, and being able to share my knowledge, get them on the same page as me, so we can start playing fast, start playing, being explosive. We'll go Pete on your left, and then Zach B. Okay, um, and I noticed that in high school you played what, quarterback, running back, and linebacker. Um, what made you gravitate to linebacker, and what do you like about defense? Um, to simply put it, I'd rather hit people than to be hit. So. Um, <laughs> Just seeing the way I could develop and even the chances of playing into the NFL uh, gravitated me towards linebacker and kind of the, Coach Haynes really sold me on how he could develop me as a player and just kind of gone with this incident.